Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Group 2 presenting Cytomegalovirus lymphadenitis for the subject Histological and Histopathological Techniques. Here are the list of the Group 2 members. Hi, my name is Nurul Amani Binti Hussein and I will be presenting the introduction. Cytomegalovirus or CMV is the largest human virus and a member of herpes virus which replicates in the cell nucleus. Characterized by its large size, it is composed of a dense core, an icosahedral capsid, and a surrounding envelope with very short projections. It can be transmitted by a number of means such as person-to-person, -person, blood transfusion, and transplacental passage. Infection with CMV is common as determined by presence of serum antibodies. Age, geography, cultural, and socioeconomic status and child-rearing practice affect the prevalence. Zero prevalence is as high as 90% in person who participate in high-risk sexual activities. Cytomegalovirus lymphadenitis can be characterized by inflammation or enlargement of lymph nodes due to the infections of CMV. Lymph nodes are usually small or void nodules, normally ranging in size from a few millimeters to 2 centimeters. Signs and symptoms of CL differ according to individual health status. It includes fever, malaise, night sweat, cervical lymphadenopathy, and mild hepatitis for immunocompetent patients. Here is the example of CMV lymphadenitis feature of a child. As the pathogenesis of cytomegalovirus lymphadenitis, this virus can be transmitted through blood transfusion and transplacental passage and also can be transmitted through saliva and respiratory secretion from person to person. However, the main transmission of this virus is through cmv affected semen in homosexual male. In the last population, the infection may occur in childhood where the symptoms only accompanied by flu. Then the infection will occur clinically as it cannot be detected by laboratory technique. This is because the viral genome has been integrated into host genetic materials of various cells. Later, the infection will reactive when deficiency of immune system. Lastly, the preferential site of CMV infection is endothelial cell in all organs and the favorable site might be reticular cell of hematolymphite organs. Next is on how to diagnose CMV lymphadenitis. Firstly, the physician will take history of the patient where the information will include history of the presence of the abnormal lymph nodes and also exposure from the occupation or environment. Medication taken by the patient also been recorded aside from recent immunization or infection that occur. Next is physical examination where the characteristics of the lymph nodes are being examined. It is usually localized and can be either unilateral or bilateral. It also felt warm and tender on the patient and usually located at submandibular or anterior cervical nodes. One of the laboratory testing done is surgical test where the CMV antibodies in the serum are identified. Besides, shell viral culture are also being done where it will detect CMV antigen at early stage. Another diagnostic test performed is CMV antigenemia assay which can detect CMV infected lymph leukocyte in the peripheral blood. Lastly is biopsy of the lymph node tissue where there will be histopathological changes that include sinus or parocortical or follicular hyperplasia. Generally, lymph nodes are the most common site that may be involved during the infection of cytomegalovirus. Before we observe pathology effect on the lymph nodes due to the cytomegalovirus, we must know the normal structure and morphology of lymph nodes. Lymph nodes have two surfaces which are convex surface and concave surface. Concave surface is also called as hilum. Three important structures present here are artery, vein and efferent lymphatic. Now, this is a capsule of lymph node. It is made by a dense connective tissue. This capsule extends to the lymph nodes and makes some partitions. The extension of capsule is called trabeculae. Lymph node is divided into two portions. The outer portion of lymph node is called as cortex and the inner portion is called as medulla. The cortex is divided into two parts. The outermost portion is called outer cortex and consists of lymphatic nodules. The innermost portion is called inner cortex. Inner cortex is also called as paracortex. 
the lymphatic channel within the lymph nodes are called sinuses. The sinuses present just underneath the capsule is called subcapsular sinus. Likewise, the lymphatic adjacent to the trabeculae is called trabecular sinus. They extend to the medulla and form medulla sinus. For the histopathology of CMV lymphadenitis, lymph node biopsy will usually show these histopathologic features which can be observed under low magnification and high magnification. Changes to the lymph node are however non-specific and they often resemble those of EBV lymphadenitis. Despite that, these are some of the features we can observe under low magnification. We will often see moderate follicular hyperplasia, presence of some aggregate of monocytoid cell, diffuse paracortical hyperplasia and sinus hyperplasia. Inclusion cells can be vividly seen in the higher magnification. Disinfected cells are usually confined to the area of monocytoid B-cell hyperplasia. This is an example of CMV lymphadenitis slide. We can see in the slide the sinus is expanded. This slide shows the presence of sinus hyperplasia in the leaf node. As you can see here, the sinus is way numerous than normal. For this slide, we can see there is presence of paracortical hyperplasia. This one, which is like a half follicle, seems to have merged with the other cell population. This actually means that the paracortic has expanded. It is an example of paracortical hyperplasia. Okay, this one is an example of follicular hyperplasia. As you can see in the slide, the lymphoid follicle is larger and more numerous than it should be. There are also variations of size there. Follicular hyperplasia is actually due to B-cell expansion. At high magnification of CMV, the morphology shows interfollicular expansion by polymorphous lymphocytes including the clusters of monocytoid B cell at the pale areas. The background also shows increased vascularity. There is increased T-zone histiocyte imparting a mortal appearance to the nodal architecture. The enlarged histiocyte with characteristics of CMV infected cells are embedded in a background of monocytoid B cell. Lastly, there is red Sternberg cell in which the cell is a large and atypical lymphoid cell with round lobated nuclei and prominent nucleoli. Next, this is the morphology of CMV. First cell that can be found is histiocytes. Histiocyte has a, synof has a eosinophil hyperplasm and contains variable amount of lysosome. Next cell is eosinophil. Isnophil have a bilobot nucleus and are granulocytes. Next, neutrophil. Neutrophil are a type of white blood cell with multi lobot nuclei and sustainable cytoplasmic granules. Nephocyte also can be found in which it has a small spherical nucleus and has abundant dark staining condensed chromatin. Last cell is red Sternberg cell. It has a large binucleate cell with single distinct nucleoli. Its appearance is like old eye. As a conclusion, cytomegalovirus is a ubiquitous pathogenic agent with worldwide distribution. Infadenitis caused by infection with cytomegalovirus characterized by inflammation or enlargement of a lymph node in various locations. Newborn, children, immunocompetent and immunocompromised adults can be infected in various ways. Cytomegalovirus lymphadenitis can also show chronic signs and symptoms in some patients. CMV have been identified in lymphocytes, particularly T cells and also other mononuclear cells. Endothelial cells in all the organs are preferential sites of CMV infection and the reticular cells of hematolymphoid organ also appear to be a favorable location. Subsequently, the infection become clinically occult and the virus is undetectable by lab techniques because the viral genome has been integrated into the host genetic material of various cells. Thus, a latent infection may persist indefinitely and be reactivated under conditions of immune deficiency. That's all from us. Thank you.